In a time of tough budget decisions, what program or programs do you believe must be project protected? And which ones do you see as being most at risk? Good evening. There's not one program I can think of that I would ever want to cut. If it comes to the time where we need to tighten our belts and watch our budgets, it would be the day that somebody says we have to stop having this program. With the caring parents and the students and the teachers and with the board's help, we can keep programs alive. Might have to be on a smaller dime than it was before, but there's no need to cut unless that's the last resort. question because I know the pros and I know the cons. But I think the cons outweigh having an extended day or an year-round school. What happens is the child will lose interest with an extended day if the class goes forever. The parent will be tired of the child going to school all year round because they can't take a four-day weekend if they have a break at work. They have to be at home waiting for the school day to get over and not having anything to do except on a two-day weekend. Um, childhood is short enough without changing school. Our children need to be children. They need the freedom to find fun things to do, plus reading, plus drawing, whatever they do in the summertime. I know it was the best time of the year for my kids, and as a working parent, I only had so much time that I could get away. Christmas is hard enough. You got two weeks to make sure your child that's at home has a responsible person watching them. So for me, an all year front school, no. Extended day, there are enough programs that take the day and extend the school day. So I wouldn't extend it. With vouchers and tax credits, I'm on the fence. I grew up in a private school and I didn't ever find one school that turned away a student for me. The tax credits, I've talked to homeschooled parents and they say they don't want the tax credit, so the public school is welcome to it. The reason they don't want it, they don't want the government telling them how to teach their children or what to teach them. If a voucher gives a child a better chance for a better education, then where they want to go needs to consider, can we fit them in? How far behind are they to our school district? I think that's the only ifs and buts with it. Other than that, we need to watch school choice and see where it grows. Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm from Lexington Elementary School and I'm in fifth grade. How do you feel about the increasing class sizes to deal with funding limitations? I'm not in favor of increasing class size. First of all, the student wants to realize that their teacher is talking to them, not just the whole class. The teacher not only has a nine-hour day in the classroom, she also has about six hours that she's working on the paperwork that came from the children in those classes. If we have to increase the number of children, and hopefully we can decrease, according to Vista, then our teachers will have time to spend on more innovation in the classroom and in, in order to help the slow learners and the quick learners learn.
I am responsible for a lot of innovation. I work for Siemens PLM. Why do I want to be on the board? Why do I want you to vote for me? I'll be the watchdog that watches the pennies. I'll make sure that the innovations that the teachers need to help their students are implemented. I'll make sure iBooks are implemented. And I will do my best to listen to you when you have thoughts that need to be done by the school board. Thank you.